Hi, it's Ali from Surefix, and today we're going to be doing another Samsung backlight repair video. Yes. This Samsung TV powers on but does not display anything on the screen. So let's open it up and get to testing. We're going to be focusing on the backlight connector, which plugs into the power board. And we're looking for a stable voltage reading on the backlight tester. In this case, we're getting a stable reading on one end, but on the other end, we get a, an open circuit. Now on to disassembly. Don't forget to unplug the ribbon cables to the panel before flipping the TV. Once the TV is flipped, we use our spatula to remove the clips securing the bezel. And then we secure the panel boards to the front of the panel using some tape. Using suction cups, we gently remove the panel. And next step is the trim that seats the LCD panel, followed by the backlight diffuser. And now that we see the backlight circuit, it's time to touch, test each strip looking for the open circuit. So we found the open circuit, but it looks like a lot of the LEDs are out even in the working circuit. So I decided to bridge the open circuit just so I could see the whole circuit lit up at once. And now that the backlight circuit is complete, we see 18 missing LEDs. Now here's where it's up to you to decide what to do with the TV. You could order the strips online and just replace, or you could grab whatever strips you have on hand to make it work within the circuit. I chose the latter as it makes for some cool footage. Oh. You'll notice that the original strips have one super thin line next to a thick line, which converges into a thinner line right before the positive side of the LED. We could scrape back the paint to re reveal the copper traces, and we just line up the orientation on the new LED to fit into the circuit. It's worth mentioning that this might not be the most practical repair, but it's good for enhancing your understanding of the backlight circuit. You could also do a same day repair for a customer without having to order strips, and there's something oddly satisfying about rigging your own backlight circuit. And we just do this 17 more times to complete the circuit. Now, I ended up bridging a few LEDs that weren't lighting up, but since there were no large gaps, I felt confident enough to close it up. Okay. 